Welcome back to Living Dayton. The Black Leadership Development Program has plans to give back to the Dayton community in a very major way. And here with more on how they're doing that, I'm joined by John E. Moore Sr., who is retired from Wright Pat Air Force Base, and Pat Meadows, who is retired from the National Conference for Community and Justice. So welcome to you both. Well, thank Good you. To be here. Nice to be here. Yeah, so okay. glad to hear yeah. that the program is going to be doing such amazing things here in Dayton. You're yeah. actually connected to Parity Inc., so talk a little bit about that connection. Well, Parity is a uh, community-based organization mm -hmm. that's been here since about uh, 1990 mm -hmm. and uh, we're an advocacy organization mm -hmm. and we, we sponsor some projects like we have a significant uh, mentoring program mm -hmm. uh, a youth in government kind of program with many of the Dayton public schools uh, we do things like uh, uh, take positions on public policy to ensure that we improve the conditions in the minority community. Right, right. But then we do sponsor uh, other uh, programs, which includes the uh, uh, Black Leadership Program, right. which started actually uh, back uh, in 1982. Mm -hmm. At that time, it was initially sponsored by the Urban League. Right, I was going to say, this yes. has been 30 years in the making, right, this program. Right, right. And then uh, we joined with uh, the Urban League in about 1990 in a joint effort to ensure that uh, we were able to strengthen the uh, training and the background and the mm -hmm. development, nurturing of many of our leaders or potential uh, okay. leaders in the minority community. Great. Mm -hmm. Now, Pat, maybe you can mm -hmm. talk a little bit about this. We are looking for these, these leaders in the community. So what exactly are you looking for? What stands out when considering applicants? Well, uh, we're actually looking for emerging leaders mm -hmm. or those with leadership potential, mm -hmm. possibly up-and-comers within a company and so okay. forth. So we hope that employers will help identify yes. um, candidates uh, who uh, uh, would, would benefit from learning more about the community mm -hmm. and understanding various segments of the community because right. the program will cover everything from education, health care, government, public policy, mm -hmm. and so the participants will, will get a broad view of the community and preparing them then to be community leaders, right. volunteers, and giving back to the community. Now you said emerging leaders. Uh -huh. Is there a specific age or is it just if you're an emerging leader it doesn't matter what your age is? Well we certainly uh, hope that and they be supported by their employers so mm -hmm. certainly has to be someone of employment age. Right. And uh, we are expecting anywhere from 25 to 65 okay. uh, those right. who so have an interest that's board. right across the board that's great so it's very open to um, and we do expect of course young people mm -hmm. who are, as we said are up-and-comers yeah. and and wanting to learn more about the community from the black heritage perspective great uh -huh. so if people are interested in applying for the program yes. what's the first step for them well they can go to our uh, website parity.com and there's application right online they mm -hmm. need to complete the application by June 29th and get that back to us uh, they would send it to Latanya McCain who okay. works at the Dayton Foundation mm -hmm. and then they will be interviewed so yeah. it's a selective process so really quickly mm -hmm. here tell us why we understand why it's important to have these leaders mm -hmm. talk to the potential applicants why is it important for them to go through this program well, we think it will, they need to broaden their yeah. perspective and understanding of the community, uh -huh. and so it really is uh, important that they learn more about Dayton and, mm -hmm. and all. And again, there are many perspectives and, and leadership programs. You learn a lot about how you can make a difference. Right. And many and of the back. people just moving into town mm -hmm. who get a job at a particular company or organization, and they really don't know anything about the. Uh, so community. this is a way to create so that. So this network. is a way to create a network and to understand. Uh, uh, what some of the strengths and uh, opportunities are in, the, in well, the community. Thank you both so much, John Pat. We hope that we get a lot of applicants there. Right. But well, thank you, and we encourage everyone to uh, get to the website. Get to the website. Thank, thank you so much. Now